I thought I'd just share with you a little video of our Christmas break. So we had to go down to Lusaka, which is the capital of Zambia, to pick up my husband's work permit. And because we were having to do that around the Christmas period, we decided that we would take a few days out and go and visit Kafui National Park, which was just then another few hours drive from Lusaka. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of our journey down there, as well as um, where we stayed and um, some of the animals that we saw. I hope you enjoy. Being from the UK, and I'm guessing it's similar in other European countries in America, on long journeys we're used to having service stations where we can stop and park the car for a bit, have a rest, maybe have something to eat and drink. But in Zambia we've not come across any of those yet, but they do have lots of stalls along the road as you go where you can buy various bits of food and drink, usually fresh fruit um, and maybe bottles of water or soda. As you can see the ground's quite green and people are digging up um, ready to plant or have already planted their crops as it's middle of the rainy season so perfect for growing your veggies and things. So here then we're approaching a toll so on our journey down to Lusaka I think we pass about four or five tolls on the roads. As you'll see people make the most of business opportunities and you can see here the lady carrying some toasted corn on a stick so as vehicles slow down they try and sell them a snack. We've not seen those um, long metal sticks before but we were um, guessing that those were new things especially when coaches come by to be able to reach up to um, passengers in the coaches so that they can buy the corn from people. The toll charge for a normal car is 20 kwacha which currently at the exchange rate is about 70 pence or one dollar. Um, a year ago though when the exchange rate was um, stronger, when the kwacha was stronger should I say, then um, that was more like two dollars and about a pound 25 um, to go. So yeah, so for our journey down to Lusaka, which took us, I think in total, about seven hours, um, then that was, what did I say, four or five tolls to pay. So worth having some cash in your wallet to pay those. But with these new toll booths, they have introduced a smart card as well. So you can prepay on a toll card um, and just have that. To, to give as well. As you're driving around in Zambia you'll probably come across quite a few unmanned and unbarriered rail crossings too so you do need to stop and check if there's anything coming before you cross. And as always anywhere that you need to slow down there'll be people ready to sell you something. And of course, on our journey, we're going to pass through various towns. So those are also an opportunity to be able to stop, fill up with petrol or get something to eat or drink. These little red and yellow booths that you can see on the side are fairly much everywhere. They are owned by phone networks and you can basically buy um, credit for your phone and also exchange credit for cash there as well. Here in Zambia as well there isn't any roadside assistance if you break down so you have to hope that you know how to fix your car or that you can contact someone nearby to come and help you. Although I have found that Zambians are generally very friendly and helpful and people will often come and stop and see if you need help. After about five hours of being in the car, we decided to stop at Fig Tree Cafe, which we'd heard lots of good reviews about um, and thought we would have 
some lunch and a bit of a leg stretch. They had a nice garden with picnic benches to sit and eat at as well as a little children's play area. So we got various things, burgers and chips and chicken wings, all very tasty. We'd definitely highly recommend as well as a good fast polite service. After a couple more hours driving we reached the outskirts of Lusaka that you can see there in the foreground. So definitely a much more built up, busier, compact um, area than anywhere else that we have been in Zambia. There's been quite a lot of investment into the infrastructure recently, so the roads here were very nice looking, I must say. After eight hours of travelling, we finally reached the Airbnb that we were going to stay in Lusaka just for a couple of nights while we sorted out picking up um, the work permit before going on holiday. While we were in Lusaka, we made the most of visiting one of their various shopping centres. This was one of them. Um, we were just looking at what um, restaurants they had here. Because it was during the pandemic, we found that only about half of them were actually open um, to serve. Like any major city, traffic can be a problem with build-up of traffic. Although I must say, compared to London, I didn't find Lusaka too bad, apart from points like this where there was roadworks happening and so that there was three lanes of traffic trying to go into one lane and there wasn't much direction as to where traffic should go in order to not um, block the place up but it didn't take too long we were maybe in a jam for five ten minutes and then moving on again roads were really nice and smooth and well made fairly much all of the journey so it was just a really nice easy fairly straight road um, to get to the national park. We did hit a few areas where the road wasn't as good but majority of it was fine. Obviously the further we got out, the more green and open the land got and you see more traditional type houses. This time of year as well, I just love the cloud formations. They just look so amazing with the sun shining on them, but yet also the shadow from the density ready to be going to rain. As you can see here, this is a very dark cloud, um, so we can see the rain up ahead um, coming down out of the cloud in that dark patch. Ahead is the sign for the junction for Itezi Tezi, which is the lake by which we are going to be staying in Kafui National Park. Then with about 76 kilometres still to go, we hit this road, or should I say track, which in parts, I must say, were not very good, mostly just because of the rains and the damage that the rain does to it. So it was quite a slow journey and added a good hour and a half onto the time we thought that our journey was going to take us. But the children kept their spirits up by singing along to some of their favourite songs as we went along.
at points we did worry a little bit um, as to what would happen if we broke down as there didn't seem to be many people around and we had no phone signal at this point but as we carried on going we did pass by a few people um, so we knew at least that we weren't totally on our own um, and that hopefully we'd be able to find help if we really needed it. The fact that we were also passing other vehicles was a comfort to us as we knew then that this was a road that was used and that we weren't totally lost and hadn't taken a wrong turn. Also managed to catch up with our friends who we were traveling with so it was good to see a friendly face or vehicle should I say um, to travel along with just knowing that there was someone else there if there was any issues with the car we passed a few areas with some large rocks on the road and we couldn't quite tell if they had fallen there or if they'd just been strategically placed in order to slow down traffic um, there were some points where they looked like maybe they had fallen on the road and other points where it looked like um, they had actually been put there to slow traffic down as there were points where the road didn't look quite so safe and so the rocks were diverting traffic onto the safer side of the road About 10 minutes before we got to our lodge, we drove through a little town where we were able to just pop into a few little shops and pick up some supplies, just like some drinks and snacks and things. Then we finally arrive at our destination, Musungwa Lodge where we were going to stay for a few days, including Christmas Day. So I thought I would just do a quick little video of the tour of the place that we're staying in. Um, near Kasui National Park. It's called Musungwe, Musungwa, sorry, Musungwa Lodge and you can either stay in the main area with the rooms um, but they also have a couple of houses um, so in case you want to be self-catering um, or you can stay in it and be full board too. So yeah basically we're doing staying in the house with full board except I'm being self-catering um, just because of being gluten and dairy free so that I can um, get my own stuff if I need to. Anyway I thought um, I would show you around the house. Okay so this is it from the outside this is actually the back of the house but we came in the side entrance so that's what I'm going to show you. We haven't unlocked the front yet we've literally just dumped all our stuff in so there's a gas canister here um, for us to cook our gas. 
up. Oh, do our cooking. Oh dear, I can't talk. Right, so here's the kitchen. It's a very little kitchen. We've got a fridge freezer, there's a sink and a gas cooker. And as you can see, there's cups and plates. Which in here, oh, just some general tubs and things. And I've got some cooking pots. I'm consuming those. I'm gonna do some go utensils Ooh, and stuff. Okay, so there will be things ready for cooking. We come around the corner. So straight ahead is the living area, but before we do... Oh, there's Rebecca doing a cartwheel. <laughs> right, so the first room is the master bedroom. So here's the bed. It's a lovely big space. We've got some chest of drawers there. Um, a table and desk. And here's the view out the window. You can see the lake. In the garden, there's barbecue there and a bit of a pit there. I don't know what quite what that is. I don't know if that's a fire pit or maybe a little paddling pool. Anyway, gorgeous view from the master bedroom and that's the same view from the living room as well. And then we have this desk and then through here, oh, Rebecca's going to model the bathroom for us. This is the master bathroom. So... Obviously a sink, Ooh, there we are, hello. <laughs> um, toilet and a kind of, I don't know how to describe it really. It's a shower, bath, well, I don't think it's a hot tub. It, it's, almost, it's almost like a pool, really, <laughs> I guess. Um, so I guess if you filled it up, you could, could sit in it. Anyway, so yeah. Pretty big space <laughs> and bathroom. Right, so let's go out to the next bedroom, which I think is Rebecca's room. She's got a double bed. There's double bed. Ooh, and they did have some towels nicely arranged on them. <laughs> the fan. And then there's this little extra kind of bit which has a desk and chair in which um, yeah, I guess it could be like a dressing room type type area. Okay, then let's go through and we've got some steps down here. And this is the living space. So they have got nice little table and chairs with tea and coffee baking facilities. Some nice art on the wall. And let's go from this side. So then there's a little bit of a platform um, with a seating area, kind of like a bar table area. And then you've got your um, sofa area for people to sit and things. And then there's another table and another table <laughs> with chairs and another bar area um, and a smaller table so plenty of places for people to sit and chat and relax and again like I said before you've got that same view out over the lake so then we go back through here and then that's third bedroom oh, that was there. so then in here it's very nice that they've got fans going there's um, a wardrobe space and then we've actually got three single beds plus another desk area and then they have their own bathroom through here, so again we've got a toilet and sink and then a walk-in shower area. So we are pretty impressed with the size of this.
So this is going to be perfect for not just us, but our friends who are going to be joining us. They're actually going to be staying up at the lodge in the um, rooms, but it means that we can just hang out here and socialise and have fun, hopefully. So, um, yeah, we hopefully will enjoy our Christmas break here and we might do a little bit more of videoing when we do our safari. So this is the area outside the dining room and the bar. There's just a nice area for sitting and a pool which overlooks the lake and it's just really tranquil and nice place to relax and have a break. We really enjoyed our stay here and the staff were super helpful and polite at all times um, and yeah I would definitely recommend staying here. I wanted to share with you some of the animals that we saw um, on our stay so the next little few clips will be of um, noises and sounds and the um, animals that we saw. As well as the delight of seeing all the animals while we stayed at the lodge, we were also fed well and given some good food. So I'll share with you what we had for Christmas Day. So on Christmas morning for breakfast, they set the tables outside so we could have a view over the lake. And we had a buffet with cereals and scones and various um, things as well as fruit salad. And there was also the choice of a cooked breakfast um, with variations of what you wanted for that. Then for Christmas dinner, there was turkey, pork um, and lamb as a choice of meats. And that was served with 
potatoes, a salad, rice, vegetables, um, and yeah, various vegetables and salads to go along with that. Then unexpectedly for dinner, we had the choice of a cooked meal. So there was a choice of beef stew with potatoes and I think it was butternut squash or fish and rice. Or oh, Obviously, you could choose um, whether you wanted potatoes or rice with either of the meals. Um, and they also had steak. Please excuse the lighting. It was low light and um, I had to use the torch on the phone. Anyway, we finished up with a syrup pudding and custard to end the day. So that was our Christmas break. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry that I've not managed to get much art or craft stuff done recently but as you know we've just moved back to Zambia and life has been quite crazy just trying to sort everything out after being away for eight months but I'm hoping in the next few weeks to slowly get back into a routine and um, start posting some more videos. Thank you so much for watching and please do remember to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notifications of new videos. Thank you so much and see you again soon.